this little sneak peek didn't think I'd give you the full thing right away, did you? So I'm gonna explain a little bit about the context and my thought process of this video, and then we'll roll it. So we have a pool table in my basement, and it's been on my list of B-roll slash videos to make since I got a camera. And yesterday was super rainy day, didn't have any videos or projects to work on. So I made a little shot list on my phone of what I wanted to happen, which I'll show right here. Did that before lunch, then ate lunch, and then after lunch said, hey dad, can we go shoot a video downstairs? I had kind of a thought process, like I said, the day of I made it. Uh, I color graded my last video. I wanted to do that a little bit with this one because obviously the pool balls, the pool table and everything like that, I thought it would be pretty cool. And this wasn't part of the original plan, but it came to me after to add sound design or sound effects. And some came originally from the video or my video clips and some came from external sources, Epidemic Sounds. Link in the description, that's where I use all my music. And as always, please subscribe if you wanna stay up to date with my content, like the video if you like the video, comment down below for feedback and what you wanna see next. But, so that was another experiment that I had and, and I'm pretty satisfied with how it turned out. But without further ado, Let's roll the clip. So overall, super satisfied with how it turned out. I liked the flow and the sequence of the shots. I liked the different angles. I was a big fan of the music. I liked how it was pretty simple. I didn't have that many complex transitions or any of the whip pans or, or some that I've used in the past. So just the overall simplicity of it. For the color grade, to be honest, it was only the first sequence of shots. And then once it got to the actual pool table, none of that was color graded. Uh, the sound design, could you figure out which ones were external and which ones were internal? Uh, if you figured it out, if you figured it out, comment down below. It's just two sounds, one sound I used twice that was not from the original audio. So with sound design, the reason why you do it, even if you take a clip that's 30 frames per second, slow it down to 80% to get it to 24, the sound gets distorted the same percentage as well. Especially if you're going from 60 to 24 or from 120 to 24. So sound design can either be for what's specifically happening on the video or it can be kind of like a background. One thing I liked as well was I shot all of the pool shots in 60p with the intent of slowing it down 40% to get to 24, which is what the playback rate was. And when you have a video that's not the same frame rate as your playback rate, it looks a little choppy because there's either too many frames and they don't line up specifically or there's not enough. I actually liked how it was a little bit of natural, kind of not motion blur, but a little bit of choppiness. So playing the 60 frames per second in 24. And I don't know what I, what I was thinking, shooting it all in 60 frames per second. If all of those clips were slow-mo, all of the actual shots and stuff, that would have been a long video. So that worked out in my favor. Totally just luck. One complaint though was that it turned out a little grainy and that just had to do with the low light of the situation with my ISO on auto or how much light that the camera is letting in or having to just take advantage of with just the lighting of the basement with only being the three lights on top, lighting the whole room. That's how you know a pool game would naturally be played in. 
So because it had to, the camera had to do so much with the existing light, it sacrificed some of the image quality. So it didn't come out as focused or clear as I thought it would, but that's just part of the process. If I were to do manual ISO and bump down a little bit lower, then I might've lost some quality in, in the colors and stuff like that, as opposed to just the overall focus. Everything I use for my videos, you can get in the description below from Amazon. And it's been really fun on my filmmaking and videography journey, developing a new skill, learning new technology and everything like that. If you like these videos, definitely please let me know if there are certain aspects you want me to, to comment on, I'd love to do so and just give an insight into just you know this journey I'm going on and hopefully you guys find some value out of it.